All right, guys, real quick, going to show you how to set up your R snapshot and how everything works. So our snapshot is a backup program that we're using. It takes hourly backups. So if you screw something up, chances are you already have backup of it, backup of it and you can restore it. It's for uh, like files you're working with, but files it's not going to be backing up are things like past queues, BAM, SAMs, uh, temp, like big temp files for Hosey that you don't use. So don't worry about those. Um, those you can recover from seven bridges. So try not to ruin those. We'll also have a full backup of everything on uh, AWS, but just try not to delete things. But if you do, this is a safety net. So to set it up, all you're going to do is type our snapshot setup.sh. And before I get into that, I'm just going to show you an example from my home directory. So the spots you're supposed to be backing up are your top directories in the GERTS group spaces. So like I have a folder called storage one and it's just a soft linked, uh, my goodness, it's just a soft link to the GERTS group one space. So it's GERTS group one and then my top directory. And storage two, same thing from GERTS group two. So these are the uh, spots you need to be backing up just anywhere you're doing work back them all up because it's only going to back up stuff that you've made in the last six months so you don't have to worry about backing up too much um so okay i'll go ahead and show you how to run it just type our snapshot setup.sh uh, if you don't have my bin in your path you tilde u6004424 slash bin slash our snapshot setup and that'll also work so you're just going to give it um those large directories to back up. So I'm just going to say storage, storage two, storage three, storage four. These are the GERTS group spaces. I'm also, I back up my bin just because I'm always fiddling with files and sometimes I break stuff and it's good to have hourly backups for that. You don't need to back up your home directories because those are backed up daily, but I do this because I need hourly backups. Um, also, if you try giving it a place that doesn't exist, like I say storage one, it'll catch that. So don't worry about that. And I'd also tab completes just to make filling these in easier. Um, once you're done, just hit enter, leaving it blank. And it'll move you to the next one, which is directories within those directories that you would like to exclude. So this is like things where you might put temporary files or lots of small files that you don't care about. So for example, I don't want to back up my recycle bin, so I just add that to the list. Again, hit enter when you're done. Uh, for days, it automatically uh, backs up everything that's six months or newer. So just leave that blank, hit enter. All this program is doing is it's making a configuration file for your uh, for this program. That'll be under test.com configuration in your home directory. If you want to look at it, that's what it looks like. Um, this is a place you can modify it. Probably don't modify it, or at least ask me before you do. Um, it also modifies your cron uh, tab. So cron is a program that just runs execute commands on a schedule. And if you'd like to see your commands that it's executing, you just type cron tab dash L and it'll bring them up. So this program sets up this uh, set of commands here. So this is just running the backups on an hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly basis. Um, you can, if, if you have a problem and you need to delete these for any reason or modify them, you just type cron tab dash E for edit, and it'll bring up whatever editor you use most. And you can go ahead and either delete these lines or um, comment them out or something like that. Um, I should also note that your cron tab is specific for either TeamSpeak 1 or TeamSpeak 2. Um, so I've actually got this set up on TeamSpeak 2 already. So I'm just going to delete these lines so it's not doing the job twice. Um, OK, so once you've got that set up, 
it'll automatically back up stuff on the hour as soon as the next hour starts. And when it does, you're going to, if you want to grab stuff, I have a, a nice program set up that I'll show you here in a second. But um, I'll show you how to do things the hard manual way. So in my storage for I've made this test directory. Looks like this. Um, so let's say I'm in here in this folder called test, and I've got this one test.txt. Now, do these have anything in them? Okay, so this file called test has dog in it. And let's say I screw it up and I'm trying to cat it, but instead I echo cat up to the, at the test. And now, oh no, my file has cat in it. So um, what you can do is you just get the real path to wherever to the file. So here's my file here. So that's a path. If you go to search group four, there's a folder called snapshots. And then your UID. And here you'll see a bunch of directories that are set up like this. So there's the hourly ones. And as the number increments, that's how many hours that uh, it's been backed up. So this was last hour, two hours ago, three hours ago, four or five, et cetera. These are yesterday's, the day before, the day before that, and then weekly. So you'll have all the way up to six monthly backups. So you can go in and be like, okay, I know this is good an hour ago, so I'm going to CD into hourly here. And then again, it'll be your UID. And now the directory structure under this is going to be identical to uh, what we've got. So if I go CD and give it the path to the directory I was working in. So here are these files. And if I cat that test file, it's still got dog in it. So what I can do is I can say copy test and then give it the directory, the path to the file that I ruined. And so now if I go back here, my working directory, it's been restored. So that's, that's kind of convoluted. Um, if you like the easy way, I wrote a quick program. So again, let's just do echo. This is right to test. Oops, not to test. Let's look at our test and then you see it's messed up. Now all you got to do is you can type restore um, .sh. And it'll say, give it a file name. So the more specific you can be with this, the better. So if I give it something like this, hit enter, it'll take it a second. And it's going to search through and look for that file in every single one of your backups here. So it shouldn't take more than a few seconds, but sometimes the first run takes a moment. Okay, I know I said the more specific you can be, the better, but uh, sometimes it has a little bit of trouble when you give a directory thing. So if you want to just give it a file name or a specific directory, I believe it works okay with directories. But for example, we'll just say we know the program's the file is called test. So I'll just hit enter here. And it will search. And if it finds multiple things that match it, it'll give you the option of which one you want to use. So in this case, if we look at this path and this path, that's the one we want. So we select number one. And then it'll say, okay, like which backup do you want this from? And so we'll say from two hours ago. So hourly one, just type 10, and it'll give you a command to uh, copy and paste. And uh, this double checks that you want to overwrite a file. So you can just hit yes. 
And now if we pat test, we can see it's back to normal. Um, so let's say we accidentally destroyed everything in here. We can also give it the uh, directory path. So we'll try this. OK, so here's the whole directory. So we can say, again, we'll take it from three hours ago. And uh, we'll go up one directory just because this is going to mess stuff up a little bit if we're in it when we copy it. But again, copy the command. And now if we go back to that directory, everything's good to go. So. Um, so that's just an example of how to use it. Hopefully you guys don't ever have to use this, but if you do, uh, hopefully these tools make it easy enough to use. If you have any questions, ask me, uh, contact me on Slack or in person or whatever. Um, yeah, good luck.